So we might check out Stacy and do the first listen for the Young Love album. Younglove.com. Younglove.com. Now this is gonna be fun, you know why? Because it's my first time doing a first listen for Stacy right away, is it? Right? Huh? Did I do it so bad? I can't remember. I don't think so. I've obviously listened to all their songs to this point, but uh when I was exposed to the songs as a stereotype, it was kind of one by one with videos on the side that they were dropping, like the band live versions, which I, I can't wait to see. If slash when, because I just expect them to partake in the band live again, um, when they do it, because I will be reacting to it. I'm just excited to get to Stacy B sides because Stacy B sides are what made me even more swift than just stereotyping of itself. So uh, those they're the B sides on the stereotype album were just amazing. As y'all know, I have not actually watched the medley or listened to the medley, so I have no idea what the B sides sound like at all. So. I have them all open with lyric videos and everything, and I just want to get into it. So let's go right into younglove.com and check out what these B-sides are about. What what the what the probable, probable album of the year has in store. Also, Stacy likes to win. I just wanna know. I just wanna know. I kinda I kinda hope Stacy do something a little different, kinda like how I think Itzy has the ring. Uh, I think um, Day6 have like a watch. I would love to see what like Stacy have don't have like a traditional light stick. It would be cool, you know, because I don't own any of the obscure ones. I say obscure, that sounds a little negative. Just the different ones. I don't own any of those. I just own like the regular straight up light sticks. Okay, anyways, we're here for Stacy. Stacy, same, same. What? Oh, I know I missed the same. This 
on B-side? someone pointed out to me, I didn't really, obviously something I should embed in my head, bro, to the point where I'll notice it missing. There was no Stacey Girls is going down. I can run to you, there was no Stacey Girls is going down, which is kind of wild. I was talking on Twitter, someone uh, someone mentioned it to me. Actually, when they said it, I had to realize it, but I'm like, listen, y'all, that's one of those things where, like, it's so iconic that 10 years down the line, only OG Swift, obviously, y'all have been here, at least OG been around since debut Swift, know how iconic that shit is even if it ends up disappearing i don't feel like it will i feel like it just wasn't a title track i think it'll come back into title tracks i don't feel like it won't completely go away even if it's like a thing where like they'll go back and be like hey remember this iconic shit stacy girl is going down you damn right that's iconic <laughs> all right so next is 247 247 247 however you want to say it Fucking talented, dude. Like, Jay is so good. The fact that when she, like, when she raps, just her voice just makes it so that her raps are so unique. And then she's just a really good singer as well, bro. And a great dancer. She's just really good at everything that is K-pop, bro. Performance. Okay. Songs already, yo. Interrupt you, but I have to sneeze. We're okay. We're okay. I love her voice. 
again with an album of the year contender that's just how they roll they know nothing else all right so young love is next and obviously we know this is the title of the album so let's just see how we sound oh it already sounds like it's taking me to where i want to be
I think I'm actually in love with Stacy the girl, bro. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy how musically they're so like, it's like they went in my head and said, yo, you want this? We going to do this. And we going to do it this way. We going to sound this good. Do it. It's just insane how me they are, bro. And I love them so much. They're putting out such good songs, dude. That ass. I, I, Jesus Christ. The future. The fucking future. Dare I ask you at the end of this video what your favorite song is? Dare I? You know I will. You know I'll ask you. This is Butterfly. Papa, every time Jake does some shit, bro, like I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud that she's so good. And that's the thought that she's so young, bro. She's just gonna get better. She's just gonna get better, bro. Like this isn't anywhere near her peak, I swear, bro. Like it's insane, bro. This is why I love seeing like it's like when idols do debut young, the only real thing I, I really like when they're as good as people like Jay. Or like uh, Jungwoo from uh, Treasure and stuff like that. When they're that young and they're, they're as good as they are, you just like, bro, and Yoon as well. Yoon as well, you're right next to her. Um, and they're all young, to be honest. That's the thing. But it's just like the, the fact that being a fan, you're going to get to see them grow and evolve as artists. Maybe even develop different stylistic things with their voices, bro. It's just so cool. I, that's what I want to see with idols like like them. like Especially because they're so young and they have so much room to grow yeah that has been my TED talk i'm so proud of you today i love you so much <laughs>
damn, bro. Like, what is there left to say, bro? Like, I, like, I, I start like words, bro. Like, my words don't do them justice, bro. They're so fucking good. And now we have the last song, and it is "I Want You, Baby." Nody. Start this little post com by asking you the question that I told you to go ask. Me. What's your favorite song, bro? <laughs> Dare I pick one? Dare I pick one? I'm gonna let this album sit. See, I feel comfortable asking y'all why because y'all have had a chance to listen to it. You have had the chance to listen to this album at least 10 times, top to bottom. Okay, I haven't had that chance till now, so I can't pick one. I can't pick one. You probably can't, or you're more likely to be able to. It's fine if you can't. <laughs> Because they're just all so amazing. I, I love this. They came to with some straight up R&B at the end. All these slow jams that feel like everything feels very late night. Like whether it be like you're just chilling at home late at night, looking out a window and late at night in a car, whether you're driving late at night or out the in an Uber passenger seat or someone else is driving you in the passenger seat, looking out the window. It just seems like things pass by and you're just listening to this album. Bro. That's how I felt. When I was listening to it, Like I literally just felt like I pictured myself looking out a window in a car bro, at night. And just seeing all the lights just pass by. I genuinely believe that Stacy are full on a big, huge centerpiece for the future of K-pop. You know, like I mentioned, ten years down the line, because I have that much faith, I want nothing. I oh my god, I just want them to be protected, taken care of the way they deserve to be, so that seven years from now, there's like very little, if any question whether they'll resign or not. I want everything to go so well for them. I can't wait till they go on tour. I can't wait till they release a light stick. I want to go, I want to do all the things. 
I want to support them. I love them so much. They are amazing singers, rappers, performers, everything, bro. I just, top to bottom, their albums and discography is literally like shiny as fuck, bro. It's spotless. It's ridiculous. Like, every time I listen to Stacey, I'm like, yo, bro, there's a reason I keep coming back to their music all the time. It's because it's just that good. It's just that good. Whether that is just to me, because obviously that's based on the individual, um, but it's just, to me, they're just, I, they're, their sound, everything about them is so, like, it just sticks with me. It just sticks with me. I, I, and I love it. And I love it, and I want it to continue. I never want it to end, which is why I felt so comfortable saying 10 years from now, we're going to be calling the Stacey Girls going down. Very iconic. Because they're still going to be on and popping 10 years from now. Okay? That's on everything. I love them, bro. I love this album. Let me know. If you don't have to pick a favorite. Let me know which one you like a lot, I guess. Um, or which one you find yourself listening to the most. If you find yourself listening to one on repeat or something that do that. Moving on, bro. I could talk and talk and praise them forever, bro. Literally. The first, the first listen, oh, the first listen, it just happened, the unboxing will happen as soon as I get my hands on the album. And hopefully they do partake in band lives, because actually, based on all their songs, bro, I don't know what song they will or won't do, bro. I have a feeling Young Love's the one they would do as a B-side for a band live, but I don't know. I would love to hear I Want You, Baby. I would love to hear all of them. I want to hear everything, bro. This is so good. I just want more. Oh, I want to show